In this video, we'll walk through the key steps to configure your MikroTik device as range extender to boost Wi-Fi range in no coverage area. Let's get started. Access router settings from Winbox. First, connect your computer or laptop directly to one of the LAN ports on your MikroTik router. Now open Winbox and select MikroTik router IP address or MAC address and connect it. Once logged in, you will pop up windows to remove default configurations. Remove it and log in router again. Step two, create bridge and add interface to bridge. Go to bridge option from left side menu and press plus button and create new bridge. Now go to port tab next to bridge and press plus button. Add WLAN and all ethernet port to bridge and apply okay one by one. Step three, change wireless mode and connect to Wi-Fi. Now go to wireless from left side menu. Enable WLAN. Double click to open it. Change mode to station pseudo bridge and apply settings. Now press scan button to connect your existing Wi-Fi network. Start scanning. Select your home Wi-Fi network from the list and press connect button. You will back to wireless settings. Go to WDS tab and select WDS Mode Dynamic, then select WDS Default Bridge 1. Press Apply and OK button to save settings. Step 4. Create Security Profile. Go to Security tab from Wireless Options. Press Plus button to add new security. Give name to Security Profile, Home Wi-Fi, or anything. Change Mode Dynamic. Select WPA PSK and WPA to PSK. Check mark unicast ciphers and group ciphers and provide Wi-Fi password same as your home Wi-Fi password and press apply OK button. Now go to wireless tab and open wireless settings again. Select security profile as you created new profile and press apply and OK button. Your Macrotic router will connect to your home with network. To confirm, go to Registration tab to see Connected Status. You will signal and router MAC address with TX and RX data rate. Step 5. Create Virtual AP for Extender SSID. Go to Wireless Settings from Left Side Menu. Under Wi-Fi Interface, press Plus button and select Virtual. Now, go to Wireless Settings and create SSID name for Extender Network. Select Security Profile. Go to WDS tab and select WDS Mode Dynamic and default WDS Bridge Bridge 1 and press Apply OK button to confirm settings. Step 6. Add Virtual AP to Bridge. Go to Bridge option from left side menu. Then go to Ports tab. Press Plus button and select Interface WLAN 2 and press Apply OK button to confirm settings. Step 7. Test Extender Network. Configuration done. Now go to mobile or laptop Wi-Fi and you will find new SSID for Macrotic Extender Network. Use the password as your home network and connect it. Extender Network successfully connected. Test internet and internet working perfectly. And you're done. Unplug the Ethernet cable. Power the Microtik anywhere within range of your main router. You should now see your new extended network appear. If this video helpful to fix your single issue, don't forget to like share and subscribe channel to get more videos. Thanks for watching.